Hey guys, it's Tommy Boy 51 here, back with more Paper Mario Star Piece hunting. Let's continue. And if we look right here, this is the area right past the bridge. You get Star Piece number 41. Now off to Koopa Village, I believe. Okay, we're by the three bombs, and what you want to do is you want to bunt stomp around three feet away from the bombs. Right there for, to get number 42. And man, that got some distance when it came out of the ground. However, if you may have saw, we have Chuck Quizmo in the back, so guess what we're going to be doing? Another Chuck Quizmo quiz! Quiz! Quiz. It's not a quiz, it's a quiz. Then let's go to the question. Question. Which of Mario Battle commands is on the far left? That would be strategies. And I'm right, because I'm awesome. An Italian. Italians are never wrong, kids. Remember this. And with that, we get star piece number 43. Now we are off to Toe Town again, because I forgot one. Now if you go past the bridge to chapter 3, the entrance of chapter 3, and you butt stomp right here, you will get another star piece. Uh, I was going to get this one earlier, but I forgot. Oh well. And since we got all the star pieces in Toe Town, to Toe Town for now, we're going to head off to the dojo. And I'm going to so show the do dojo off to you guys. Wow, I can't say speak today. So here's the entrance of the dojo. which We're going to go in with Power Carrier. Look at me. There's not really too many good characters that you can use right now for the dojo, so... I'm just going to stick with Power Carrier. You talk to this guy? Oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the mas the master. The that's your name? The master? Please pardon me. My health is rather delicate. Alright, the master. Every day we train in this dojo to improve our body and mind. Wow, I, I can't get over the fact that his name's The Master. So, if you like see him in the street, you're like, yo, what up, The Master? The Master. You're like, The Masterpiece. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to hit try, and we're going to go up against our first opponent, Chan. Now, this is another Nintendo bad pun, kids. Let's figure out if you guys can figure out what martial arts expert Chan is trying to be related to. I'll tell you at the end of the fight. Mario, here comes Chan the man. Chan the man. Sounds like... I don't even know. I was going to give it away right there. Too close. How dishonorable. But he's basically the same thing as any other buzzy beetle that you would fight before. Except he's green. And he has hair. I'm, I wasn't even sure it was possible for buzzy beetles to have hair. But yeah, there's no really easy way of fighting him. I mean, you just bounce on him with Mario and then everybody else can just attack him. He has two defense points and the rest of his stats will be shown at the bottom. Fail. Alright, now that the battle's over, let's guess who he was related to. Jackie Chan. Guys, come on, you gotta put two and two together. Chan, Jackie Chan... Ah, uh, you must train harder. Very well. I will give you this, Mario. And we get the first degree card. Proof that Mario is blah, 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 beat, fight, something, blah. Alright, we're gonna fight another person. Cough, cough, hack, hack. You wanna try? Yes, I wanna try. Now, Lee, let me see how you handled Mario. Oh my god, you guys are never gonna get what Lee's from. Never. Anybody want to take a guess? Who's Lee from? Get it? Anybody yet? Now this guy's annoying. He's basically the same thing. Same thing as the character we're going to see later in the future of this LP. But he can transform into any party, me party member. I'm not sure if he can turn into Mario though. So, even if your party member's not on the field, which later he turns into Cooper... He can turn into anyone, which could get annoying because Power Carry has two defense points. See, now he's turned back to normal. But he is strong, I'll give him that. He does do 
quite a bit of damage. He's just an idiot. So right here, right after Power Carrier whaps him, we're going to see his attack. Oh, you're so strong. I'll give you that. I bet you've never seen a move like this before. I like how he says you've never seen a move like this before, but somehow we've already seen it. See, now he turned into Cooper, and now he's just... It's pathetic, because Cooper only has one defense point, and he's just going to be beaten a lot easier than the other guy was. Now that I think of it, I should have Cooper from the beginning. Enough. Lee. Blah, blah, blah. Now, if you guys haven't put two and two together yet, Lee is supposed to be a resemblance of Bruce Lee. And now we're back at Merlin's house to do what? We're going to butt stomp three times just like the toad in Dry Dry Outpost told us. And look at this, a badge comes. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. This badge is quick change? What does that mean? I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a l very lucky man. You should put this badge on. Alright, so this is the quick change badge, guys. It is one of the most useful badges in the game. This badge allows you to switch out any character that you have, and as soon as you switch them out, you can use them to attack. Normally in the game, you, as soon as you switch up a character, that is wasting your attack. But with this badge, you can do whatever you want. Now, in this battle, before I go up against the next challenger, I'm going to take Bo in the battle because this new challenger is the master. To battle. Yes, the master has no defense points, and Bo has five bitch, slap is on, bitch slaps on her, so it's just more useful to get the five than the whatever. And man, I'm getting really, really good with the power bounces. Hmm, excellent move. Now this guy, there's not much to fighting him. He he does the same attack every time. He'll say, oh, uh, something, something, uh, I don't know. He'll say right after he attacks. Yeah, he, all he does is he walks into you with a fist and apparently does five damage unless you block it. Actually, no, I have the defense badge on, so it does six damage. Hmm, excellent move. Yeah, he'll just say that for the rest of the match. I mean, it's not hard to defeat him because he's an old guy. He sucks. So. I like this, though. I like how Bo gives us his defense increase, which normally means that you can't even touch us. And watch what he does. He gets right through the defense. I mean, it's only one point of damage, but think about it. I blocked it, which was two points taken away, and then I had the defense plus on it. He was not supposed to do any damage to me. But one good thing about this match is now you can finally tell that Bo is allowed to bitch slap an old man. Remember this, kids. If an old man ever tries to fight you, you bitch slap him. You take your pimp hand and you bring it across his face. Ah, uh, Nintendo and your life lessons. You guys should listen to Nintendo. That's how I turned out so well. Right, guys? I'm, I'm just a role model of excellence. Bitch slap that old man. You have a natural talent. Blah, blah, blah. Jackie Chan. Yes, yeah, so he does six damage and all if you don't block him. Alright, now I'm getting tired of this, so I'm just gonna hit an old man with a hammer. And I killed an old man with a hammer. Oh my god, I'm a murderer. I'm worse than the Namadi Mouse. Alright, not that, not that bad. I'm still better than him. I see why you are so famous, Mario. You are truly blah, blah, blah. And now we get the third degree. And with that, I'm going to end this episode off. So if you like my video, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will catch you guys later.